Hey guys, it's Ken from KPD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food adventure just for you and just for you. We are in the overcast city of Vaughan, maybe slash Maple, I can't always forget this area, uh, Ontario, Canada, and we are approaching a 7-Eleven because a couple of you guys let me know that 7-Eleven Canada has now jumped on the chicken sandwich game and that I should go and check it out. I'm not sure if they checked it out already or they wanted me to check it out and let them know if it's any good. And I do know a lot of you guys like to know if I like something or not. And I'm glad I gassed up closer to my house because it was a dollar 19 Canadian for a liter. And down here, it's a dollar 24.6. Holy schmoly. So let's find a good parking spot. Customers only, that's me. And uh, we'll get the, the shot of the 7-Eleven in the background there. And we are good. All right, guys. Let's go into the 7-Eleven, grab that chicken sandwich and maybe a drink. Come back here and eat it with you. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Hello, how are you? All right, I'd love to try your, your chicken sandwich. You guys have the new chicken sandwich? Chicken sandwich, we don't have, but we have chicken left. I thought you guys are on your website, you have brand new chicken sandwiches. Okay, uh, Uber? I, uh, I'm not sure about Uber, but I, I was told, I Uber, saw it, but you... But they did not send us. Right now, we have three wages also. Do you have an account with Uber? No. Uh, because with Uber, if you have an account, there is a promotion, buy one, get the second one. Chicken sandwich. Any, any of the sandwich. Any other sandwich. But right now, we don't have the chicken. We have the turkey plus, the egg salad, and the chicken. Okay. If you have an Uber account, you can log in, kind of order it, and pick up yourself. Then you buy one, you get one free. Okay. If not, you can buy it. Okay, thank you. Any subs, you can post. Okay, okay, thank you. Well, that sucks. Totally was expecting. I see the phone before I came down, but it's on their website. Chicken sandwich. That's why I came down here. So let's figure out something else to eat. So far, we've got some snowballs and a uh, Slurpee. Pizza sub, thin crust, Italian supreme. Do you guys toast this or do I do it? Yeah, yeah we can toast that for you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Woohoo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen, with the big fail, the big chicken sandwich fail. I usually do phone some of these places to make sure they have it. But because it was on their website, I just figured they all had it. And the fact that she was just like, nope, we don't have it. I'm like, what? Well, that doesn't make sense. Why is it like the top banner on their website? New chicken sandwich. So we settled for some other crazy foods. Let's got the trusty steering wheel tray 
and start eating, shall we? All right, first up, let's take a sip of my Slurpee. Didn't want to fill it all the way up to the top. I didn't want that much. But I definitely wanted more than the next one down. Oh, oh man. Pink cream soda. This needs a scoop of ice cream. Oh yeah. All right, let's open up this sandwich and see because i have never had their pizza submarine eight inch and of course for dessert we're going to do some snowballs snowballs who likes snowballs <laughs> what movie is that from people leave a comment in the comment section below i think he swore a lot about the snowballs so you'll have to uh keep it clean people keep it clean <laughs> All right, let's open this up. So I believe the one lady, she just looked at me all confused because she was new and I didn't know she was new, but I said, uh, can you toast this? And she just like looked at me like, do it yourself. <laughs> but they have two microwaves for certain foods and then they also have that toaster machine behind the back there. Let's open this up, see if it's any good. Oh boy, the cheese is nice and gooey check out that nicely squashed bun it got hammered it's definitely toasted let's see if we can pull off some of this top bun here check what's underneath oh, we got the marinara sauce looks like two different kinds of pepperoni underneath that looks like we got three or four slices of ooey gooey mozzarella cheese and i'm kind of hoping on the bottom is more Marinara, and there is nice well done 7-eleven canada all right let's bite into it and see if it's any good it smells fantastic by the way okay come on let go the cheese is stuck it's all nice and soft because of that toasting process cheers not bad It'd be nice if they could uh, separate the bun from everything else and actually toast it so it has that crunch. But other than that, it's nice. And if I wasn't making a video for you, I'd zip back in there, throw it in the microwave just to bump it up because the cheese isn't 100% melted. Some of it was, and that part it was definitely not melted. But again, still tastes great. Lots of food in there. And for $5.75, that's pretty good. It looks like you can just buy it, take it home, and toast it yourself or have them toast it. I think most people would have it toasted here. They'd probably be eating in their car like me. And uh, so the sandwich, the drink, and the dessert are snowballs is uh, ten dollars and 43 cents here in ontario canada i'm definitely enjoying it so let everybody know in the comments below what your favorite slurpee is this is probably one of mine right here it says only at 7-eleven slurpee warning brain freeze may occur definitely been known to happen i had a friend back when we were really young there was a 7-eleven somewhat near our house and it was a really hot day so he bought the slurpee with the only money he had and he went outside and he he, he was thirsty and he guzzled it and it went right to his head and he it, it hurt so much he just smashed a slurpee into the ground he was so mad <laughs> way to go craig i still talk to him to this day that's probably when we were 12. <laughs> good times good memories If I was traveling through the States or across Canada and the only place was around was a 7-Eleven, I'd definitely buy that again. It is actually quite good. 
Uh, like I said, I'd, I'd nuke it a little bit more just to melt it, make it a little bit more warm than it is. And that's the only thing I'd do to it. Other than that, it's perfect. And I'm liking it just enough to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out by to all you amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This bite is for you. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I'm definitely gonna finish this off. Last bite, then let's try the snowballs. Mm. All right, next up are these snowballs. 410 calories for both of them. Mrs. Freshly's make life sweeter. Hmm. <laughs> if I was stuck in the zombie apocalypse and there was a truck full of snowballs, I would definitely take a few. I wouldn't kick them around. So it looks like we got a chocolate cake and then we have marshmallow on top of the chocolate cake and then it's sprinkled with uh, coconut and inside is supposed to be cream. Let's take a bite. Mm-hmm. Check that out. And there is your extreme close-up of a snowball. I'm really enjoying the marshmallow outer edge, kind of like the icing of a cake. And then, of course, it's got the coconut flavor to it for sure. And you got that creamy center. I love that kind of cream in, like, chocolate donuts. One of my favorite. Let's keep eating. That cream is going to be nice and sugary. Sugary sweet. Mmm. It's not like whipped cream. It's more like a sweet icing. A sweet vanilla icing on the inside. Well, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. Woody Harrelson hated these in the movie Zombieland. And uh, if it came down to these or Twinkies, I would definitely eat Twinkies over these. These aren't bad, but uh, Twinkies are definitely better. Anyway, I'll take this last bite and I'll save the other one maybe for later. It's okay. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The chicken sandwich fail here at 7-Eleven. When a subscriber or a few subscribers tell me that the chicken sandwich is here in Canada at 7-Eleven, and then I go on the website and it says chicken sandwich across the top of their website, then you would imagine going to a 7-Eleven, you'd be able to pick up a chicken sandwich, but apparently you can't. Uh, I'm gonna phone around to a few other ones and maybe we'll do it next week. We'll take a break from 7-Eleven for seven days and then maybe we'll come back next Tuesday. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are all done if you find yourself hungry and there's a 7-Eleven just around the corner. Grab yourself a Slurpee and a pizza, eight inch sub. Get them to toast it. Uh, feel it before you leave the store because if it's not hot enough, zip over to the uh, microwave, throw another 30 seconds onto it, get that cheese super melted and you'll enjoy it as much as I do. If you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist I threw down over there and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.